Welcome to the Bahamas, people. Everyone's heard of it, but few know its real origin. It started out as the new Pirate Republic somewhere in the 1700s. Back then, pirates were as real as they could be, unlike the ones we get in the last years. Johnny, huh? <laughs> Nowadays, the Bahamas is a heaven for every tourist that crosses its borders. Its capital, Nassau, the largest city in the area, holds an interesting downtown area, very colorful and very Instagrammable. The Bahamas holds around 700 islands, but 13 can be considered major islands. Plan your trip around 3-4 days in Nassau. Be sure to hire a car as public transportation is non-existent. There's a few nice resorts where you can spend your time, such as the Atlantis, but be aware it's pretty commercial. The Bahamas is all about scuba diving, white sand beaches and crystal clear water. So maybe the best diving trips you will ever get in Nassau are offered by the people from Stewart Coves. They know the best diving sites, they will set you up with the perfect scuba gear and they also organize one of the only diving experiences that you will ever find in the world. The shark dive. It's not gonna happen in a tank but in the open ocean. The so-called shark arena, a sandy spot submerged 15 meters below water, where you will get to see the huge shark speeding. Next, head to the airport and be sure to visit at least one of the other islands from the 13 major ones. I have been to the Exuma and it's the same thing, get a car because otherwise you will be stuck on the front porch. So if you thought Nassau had white sand or crystal clear water, think again. The Exuma or the smaller islands close to it, the real Bahamas, how they like to call it has probably the world's most clear blue water that I have ever seen in my life. You just stick your head in the water and it's just like her in a fish tank. Probably the closest I have seen to it is in Coron, Philippines. Check out this clip on the right or on the left, wherever they put it. I don't know. <laughs> well, just a piece of advice as I have traveled to many islands, always carry a hammock. Wherever you go, there's plenty of places to set it up. And if you can't find two suitable trees, well, then you'll just have to improvise. Bahamas is the perfect place if you love white beaches and super clear water, diving and water sports. What you must know is that you might struggle with the food options, as the island's specialties are burgers and fries. Sailing is a big part of the Bahamian tradition. As I have sailed for maybe more than 10,000 miles, I am a huge fan of the sport. The Bahamas has a steady wind of around 25 knots in the open water, which makes for a good sailing day or even week. So you can charter sailing boats, monohulls or catamarans with or without crews depending on your experience. Enjoy Bahamas! See you again for the next one, don't forget to subscribe, like and let me know down in the comments your thoughts about the Caribbean. 
Adios.